As we already know that the walls are system families and this means that we cannot change the parameters of walls. But there are three types of walls, basic walls, curtain walls and the stack walls which you can see inside the project browser. If you expand the families, you can see the basic walls, the curtain walls and the stack walls. In this video, we are going to talk about the stack walls. So let's talk, to, talk about the basic walls first. So the basic walls are the walls which are same from top to bottom. And we cannot change the parameter of these walls from any section or the plan. And regarding the curtain walls, we have already uploaded a video of curtain walls using the face method. Now let's talk about the stack walls. Stack walls are two or more basic walls stacked on top of each other. So stay with us and watch the full video till the end and subscribe to our channel. Here we are in Revit and we will open up an architectural template. First of all, we will make three type of walls in order to create a stack wall. So let's start from the first wall. We will create a wall using WA and we will create a, let's say, 2.8 meter wall and then by clicking this wall we will click on edit type keep in mind that uh, we have to click on duplicate in order to make a duplicate copy of this wall otherwise the system family will be changed so we'll click on duplicate and then we will write a name for our first wall so let's say this is a base wall we need to provide a prefix for our wall in order to recognize in the list so let's say td for draw and design and then we will write a base wall and then click ok click on edit in front of structure and then we have to create a structure for this wall as you can see we have a preview in this area and if you can see we have floor plan and we have section let's go to floor plan now we have to create a structure so for this wall we have only a one layer structure so the structure material will be in situ cast in situ concrete then we will select this material and after that we have to provide the thickness of wall so let's say this will be 400 and then we have to click OK and then click OK again as you can see the concrete wall is created and if you want to see the family of this wall you can open up or expand the families and then you have to open up walls and then you have to open up basic walls because we have created a basic wall and as you can see this is in the list we have the td dash basic base wall up next we will create another wall which will stack over this wall and using this wall as a base so we will create another wall and let's select this wall and click on edit type after that we will click on duplicate and write the name of this wall so this will be with a prefix td and then we will write concrete block with gypsum air and then click OK and after that we have to click on edit in front of structure now we need to create some layers for this wall 
the first layer of this wall will be let's create some layers and then we will remove the layer from the structure and by clicking up and we will move some some of these these layers from the core boundary also one for the other face so for the first layer we have the finish finish layer which will be a brick let's select the material for this one so this will be a common brick the next layer this will be an air layer this will be a small gap between this wall let's select this one and in the function change it to thermal air layer and for the next one we will click on thermal layer and then select the material this time we will select a let's say rigid so the rigid insulation will be fine for this one we will select the material let's find the damp proofing so the damp proofing we will select damp proofing and for structure we will select concrete block uh, concrete masonry units will be fine and for the other side of the core boundary we will select let's find some type of sheathing So plywood sheathing will be fine. After setting up all of these materials and their functions, we have to set the function of this plywood sheathing also. And this will be the finish tool layer. We have to select some thicknesses. let's click on ok and ok again as you can see there are two types of walls basic walls are created now we need to create a third wall which will stack over top of this wall and that will be a parapet wall so go to project browser and right click on concrete block which we have already created and go to type properties this time we will click on duplicate and we will write the name of this wall with the prefix td dash parapet wall with top profile so this time we will add a parapet wall with a top coping profile on top of that then we will click OK. Then we will click on Edit button in front of structure. Now this time we will change all these layers because we have we are trying to modify the existing basic wall. We do not need all of these layers. We just need air layer, and we do not need the thermal rigid insulation. Also, we do not need the damp proofing and the brick common and air layer and masonry units these are fine and also delete the finish too and then click on ok and ok again now let's create this wall which we have created let's click on this one and in, from the properties panel let's select the wall which we have created parapet wall with top profile and let's create a wall here as you can see this wall have only two layers 
but we did not create a profile on top of this parapet wall. Let's change this parapet wall family. Right click on parapet and click on type properties. Now go to edit. As you can see, we have modified vertical structure. We have six buttons on this area, but these are all invisible because we are showing the floor plan. We need to show the, show the section in order to activate these buttons. As you can see, these are all now active. And now we will click on sweep. We need to load a profile for the popping or the top covering of this parapet wall. We have to click on load profile. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, profiles and we do not need these profiles because these are imperial system. We have to go to libraries, go to metric and then open up the folder of profiles and then open up walls and then we have to find the desired shape of our parapet. So this parapet cap precast, this one will be fine. Now click on open and then we have to add a profile and then we will select the size of the profile cap let's select 300 mm wide now we will place this cap on top of on top of this wall and then we will click on apply and ok as you can see a small coping on top of this wall is created and we can see that if you click on this button and zoom on this area you can see the coping is a little bit smaller again go to sweep and then we will select the bigger size and click on apply this one is this one looks good now click on ok and the code and between the core boundary this one is a structural material so we will check this this option now click ok click apply and click ok now if you see in the 3d view we have three walls created and we have created them from level 1 to level 3 level 2 now go to level 1 and make a section for these walls let's make a section here let's open up this section so these three walls are created perfectly now it's time to stack all these three walls on top of each other we'll go to stack walls as you can see we have one family already created because in order to show a stack wall Rabbit have to place a single family inside this stack wall. So we do not use this stack wall. Instead, we will right click on this wall, this one, and click on type properties. After that, we will click on duplicate and we will make our separate family for the stack wall. So this one will be DD stacked. base cmu complex masonry unit and then parapet after that we will click ok and then we have to provide the information of the walls basic walls which we have to pro we have to stack on top of each other so in front of structure we have to click edit then we will insert a third wall and then we will select from the list which wall we want to stack on top of each other so the first one will be will be a parapet wall so the parapet wall will be on the top and for the middle one we will select concrete blocks gyps gypsum air and brick unit and for the last we will select base wall let's zoom in the you know in let's zoom in this area as you can see we have two layers on both sides 
but for the parapet we have only single layer of block masonry and if you look in this area the base is not aligned with the CMU wall so in order to align we have to provide some offsets but there is a simpler solution instead of providing an offset we have to check the offset whether if it is a center line or the exterior face or interior face if you change some of these properties there might be a chance that you should not provide an offset so we will change the finish face as exterior so this have solved our problems now the next step is that you have to provide some height so in order to discuss the heights we have to provide the height for two walls and the third will be variable if you want to create the parapet wall variable you just have to click on parapet and then click on variable but in my case i'm going to create the variable for the second one so i will click on second one and click variable now the maximum height of the parapet wall will be 750 and the maximum height of the base wall will be 850 so these are the heights for my drawing and then i am going to click on ok and then click a uh, click on ok again as you can see the in the stack wall portion in the project browser if you see in the stacked wall portion we have created a dd stacked wall base cmu parapet so this time i am going to create a stacked wall i am going to click on wall and from this list i am going to stack wall portion and then select the wall which i have created and then draw the wall now we'll go to 3d view and we will change the base constraints and top constraints for this wall top constraint will be level 2 then we'll go to section and extend this section view so the section view is showing us that the stacked wall is created perfectly and placed on placed between level 1 and level 2 i hope you like this video and you have learned to create the stacked wall and also the complex walls in revit Please hit like button and subscribe to my channel and share this video with others. See you in the next video. Bye bye.